Good evening, Africa. We are here live at Love of God Church for our 2022 annual youth convention. I am Michelle Benjamin, and with me here is Jeremiah Favor. And we are going to be your host. Come back. We have our own very Mr. Peter live here on the red carpet. Oh, you look fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. It's so good to have you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I'm here. Okay, so what are you expecting in tonight's? Um, performance, everything that is going to be happening here. Okay, um, as usual, it's going to be awesome. I'm not expecting anything less. Um, from from experience, I've discovered that as the years goes by, it keeps increasing. Like we see better experience than the previous year. So I'm not expecting anything less than that tonight. I'm so I'm so optimistic that tonight is going to be far far wonderful. We're going to enjoy God. We're going to worship. I'm going to raise our voice to say thank you for all he has done for us. Okay, so most definitely it's not your first time um, here in the um, youth convention. No, no, no. So how was last year's experience to you? Wow, last year's experience was awesome. It was seriously awesome. We had a lot of our fathers, senior ministers around who blessed us. And I'm not expecting anything less this year. I've always been part of this program from the beginning and I'm still here. All right, so finally, sir, what has been your um, what has been your struggle as a music um, a gospel um, music minister? Okay, um, one of our major struggle. Okay, one of my major struggle is is getting to getting the world to really hear my sound. It has it has always been a desire for me to grow beyond this level. And one of the challenges is how to get people to listen to me and all of that. And you know, in this world, in the music community as a whole, you can't just do it in your house people need to hear you. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years I should be flying around the world singing around the world It's so good to have you here you See you inside, thank, thank you, you. And that is pizza our own very good minister stay tuned Hello, welcome back on our life. Joining me this evening is going to be one of our ministers David Akko Welcome, you look amazing. As you can see, it's nice having you. All right, so can you tell me what has been your experience as a minister? Wow. I've experienced a lot. See, being a minister, you have to work hard. You have to sit, especially gospel artists. You have to sit and wait on God because you can't do it on your own by yourself. It's just God alone that can help you. Right, that's awesome. So, um, what are we expecting from you this night? Wow, you're going to see me in a different way. Today, you're going to see more of God in me, like never before. Wow, that's awesome. So, can you tell me, is this your first time in the Youth of Fire Convention? Wow, I've been here for years now. I've been coming, and it has been awesome. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Tada! Welcome back. We have um, our guest minister, one of our guest ministers, Rada, uh, Minister Praise, here live on the red carpet. Oh, you look so fabulous, sir. Thank you. Um, so tell me, what are you wearing? Um, I'm just wearing a combination of your clothes and rather yeah. all right it's so it's so nice to have you here sir you. we are so honored to have you live on this red carpet yeah. and um okay i got to know that you're one of the ministers tonight so what are you expecting from this year's um events um actually what we are expecting come closer what we are expecting tonight you know is more of you know we coming together you know to worship, to praise, and to honor the one who gives us life. And I'm um, also as a theme, 
implies to know you more. So we are here, you know, to get more intimate with the Father, our God, who created us. What has been um, that one challenge as a gospel minister? You know, one of the challenges is, uh, you know, at times when we are invited, you know, the environment matters. You are invited to an occasion and you get the, how the environment is portrays what you are going to give. So it's a factor. When the environment is really not conducive, you know, it poses a challenge to that gospel artist. But when you're in the spirit, I guess, that challenge is going to be overcome. Okay, so do you just want your career to stay here in the church or you want to push further? Of course, no. I really want to go worldwide, you know, not just here, but with God. I know all things are possible. Even the Bible said, your talent to present to you even before great men, even before kings, you know. So I'm not just, you know, going to stay here and sing, but I guess I'm going to go higher. That's my aspiration. So thank you very much. It's so good to have you here live thank on the red. You. See you thank inside. You. Yeah. All right, Emmy Pro is right here on the red carpet. Thank you. Um, joining me here on the red carpet again is Minister Pilgrim. Please come. All right, good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. You look amazing. Thank you, you too. You're looking good. Uh -huh, thank you. So, uh, can you tell me what has been your experience as a guest minister? Uh, I can say uh, it's been awesome. And one of the favorite places I've been, I've been treated like though a very good uh, guest and a special guest, is Love of God for the World Ministry. They've always given me this uh, feeling and treatment like as though I was not from this church. So, I would say it's a wonderful experience. Wow. That's awesome. So can you tell me, um, is this your first time on in the youth convention? Uh, yes. Wow, wow. So there's no much question from there. Okay, so can you tell me, um, what did you do preparing for this concert? Okay, actually I heard about the concert for some times now. And then uh, I would say spiritually we've been praying. And then uh, mentally we've been also learning things. And then in terms of music, we've been rehearsing so that in as much as we are balanced spiritually, we also need a balance physically and mentally. All right, that, um, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh my God, you look fabulous. Thank you so much. How are you too? Are you it's, so, it's so good to have you here. It's so good to have you here. So tell me, um, as the Vice President of Love of God Church, what has been that one challenge you've always had? Uh, I mean the biggest challenge when it comes to youth aspects to gather youth. So the major challenge is to gather them, but now we have overcome that aspect by the grace of God. So we are able to gather and to detain them. So um in all your life, is this the first time um of you you know controlling a whole lot of people like being the vice president of this great mission? Like is it your first time to be a leader? Alright, so let's see uh this is a uh, second tenor in this church, but by the grace of God, privilege have been you present other churches before coming down to these states. So I've heard this by this for years now. We have been in it, so it's not something that just happened new. So even when I came down to here and they say, give me the power, it's just it's a privilege, but we have been to it by the grace of God. All right, in one word, what are you expecting tonight? Tonight, I'm expecting only goes fully. Oh only goes 24. Oh <laughs> my God. It's uh, so good to have you here on our, our, our red carpet. We're so honored. We feel so blessed. So see you inside. Uh, hello. Welcome back. Joining me on the red carpet again is our youth president, Miss Victoria. Wow. Like, I love your smile. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. You too. You don't look Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to be asking you, can you tell me your experience as the youth president so far? Okay, um, like she rightly said, my name is Ayaba Victoria Ihotu, and I happen to be the youth president. This is my second tenure. I will say it's been wonderful, and I will also say it's been hectic. It has not been easy because I'm a perfectionist. I believe in bringing out the best in a thing. And to bring out my best in a thing, it, mean, it means I have to go through hardship, 
a lot of stress. So it's been wonderful and it's been stressful. Wow. So um, can you tell us how much effort, like what did it cost you to, because looking from inside is really beautiful and I must say you did well. So can you tell me how much effort has it been to put all this together? Hmm. How much effort? If we are to wait, Homo, it's plenty. How much effort? My efforts um, include sleepless nights, calculation all the time, calls, trying to put things, everything together, getting all the guest ministers, getting the church to approve of our plans, getting the, uh, my escorts to be able to work with me. It comes with a whole lot of stress and commitment. So if you're saying effort, if I'm to wait, I, don't, I can't even quantify it at all, but it's been really stressful, but I put in my best. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Ma, for that. So I'm going to be asking for the last time, what do we expect from you? Huh? Expect? I wouldn't tell uh, our audience what to expect. I would just say, come into the hall, and then you will experience God himself. You, he or she, whoever is that person that comes into the hall, I think that person is in the right position to tell me what their experiences is or was. So I would just say, come into the hall and experience it yourself. All right, thank you very much, Ma. It's nice having you, thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to The Life. And here yeah, I'm standing with the General of Asia of Love of God Church. Thank you very much. That is an honor having you here. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. All right, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Um, can you tell me how how does it feel being the pastor of this great church? Because I know it's a very big and great church. So what does it feel like being the pastor of this church? Well, it's a privilege to be to be a pastor of this church, and uh, I'm glad that I uh, have the best members, good followers. So that gives me joy. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. I would like to ask Daddy, what are we expecting from the service tonight? My expectation tonight. Wow. It's not at one, the glory of God will come down, surely, and a good turnout, and uh, I can see God performing miracles. The glory of God. So, Mommy, um, I'd like to ask you, what advice do you have for the youths? Uh, I want to advise them that all the impartation, all the words that they have been preaching to them, from God, most especially this particular program, I want to urge them to put them in practice and then they will see the glory of God upon their lives. Thank you very much. That was the general overseer of this great assembly. And as you can see, it's beautiful. Having the most beautiful wife as a pastor, and it's fun. Thank you so much. People of God, we have our own very Pastor Paul right here on the red carpet. So Pastor Paul is a very great atmosphere tonight. So what are you expecting from tonight's um, performance and everything that's going to happen here? Um, for the past four days or five days, uh, the program has been awesome. I personally have benefited from this program, and I'm expecting more glorious uh, evening tonight. The men and women that will be coming to minister tonight, I'm believing that God is going to use them mightily, and tonight is going to be greater than all the five days we have had so far. All right, sir. So in one word, how can you describe the youth of this great commission? They are awesome. They are awesome. They have done excellently well. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. It's thank nice you. having you here live on our red carpet. See you inside and God bless you, sir. Thank you very All right, much. sir. Welcome back, my great people. We have here live on our red carpet our youth pastor, Pastor Patrick, and his lovely wife. It's so happy, it's so good to have you right here, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. Ma, we are so pleased to have you right here on our red carpet. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, in this um convention, what are you expecting to see? I want to see the youth on fire, just as the name oh, implies. Yes. <laughs> All right, so, um, as the pastor of um, the youth of this great commission, what has been your challenge? The challenge is 
the youth, you know, when you know God better, nobody will encourage you to serve Him. When you know Him, nobody will push you or call you on phone before you come to church. And the theme is that I may know Him. So I want the youth to know God better. And that has been our challenge. So I believe this program has done a lot in the life of our youth. Okay, so um, from when you started um, with this church, like how many years has it been? Yeah, I've been here yes, since 2017, January. Yes. All right, Ma, you look fabulous, I must say. Um, do you have a particular designer, or is it just something you picked from your closet? Just something I picked from my closet. All right, are you to serve? Yes. Like, do you have a um, special designer that designs your suit? Because you look fabulous, I must say. Or um, it's just something you just go to your closet and then you just pick from it. No, I have a special designer. Right. Would you love to showcase who that person is? No, not yet. <laughs> all right, all right. We are so blessed to have you here. All right, people of God, we have our own very Pastor Joshua live here, which is beautiful white on our red carpet. Pastor Joshua, it's so, hard, it's so good to have you right here. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. You look lovely. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you, sir. So, um, briefly, um, what are you expecting from tonight's performance and everything that is going to happen here? Uh, well, uh, my expectations in this program is to see the, the fullness of God and His raw manifestation on all the youth, not just the youth in this ministry, but all around the world. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you describe the youth of this great commission? Wow, the, 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 the youth of this commission, they are packaged for fire and for exploits. So how many years have you been with this um, church? Generally? I think for the couple of 15, 17 years now. Yeah. Alright, my over to you. So, um, what are you expecting tonight? I'm expecting miracle. You know, the fullness of God should, has, God should prove Himself powerful in this program tonight. Most of the in the life of the youth, not the church, not only the youth, everybody and the church. All right, thank you very much. We are so honored. We are so blessed to have you here. On our, all right, see you in Taita. You, God bless you. Wow, like I love your car. Okay. I'm sure you're not going to leave your routine today. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, sir. So I would like to ask you, what are you expecting from today's service? I'm expecting the unusual. The unusual. I can't expect what I see, I saw last year, or last two years, or last three years, because um, from previous, from the previous uh, concert, I have seen that a lot of talent, a lot of talent people has come here and announced their talent, and I can't expect the least. Well, thank you very much, sir. So, um, you said you're an MC, yes, yes. a gospel uh, you presenter. Wow, yes. that's amazing. Yes. So, a gospel artist, that got me. Yes. So, can you tell me what has been your experience so far as a gospel artist? As a gospel artist, you know, you have to um, uh, follow somebody to have a mentor. You understand, as a gospel artist, although we have challenges, you understand. But uh, at the other thought, when you are, when when you want to do a, a certain uh, kind of music as a gospel artist, you have a mentor to follow. Not because you know how to sing, you just you say I want to sing. And you should know the line of uh, music that you are going into. Yes. Wow, well, that's amazing. Thank you very much, sir. It's nice having you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have Mr. Lawrence Obey joining me on the red carpet. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, sir. You look amazing, I must say. Thank you very much, sir. So I'm going to be asking you, um, you've been a youth in this church for a very long time, yeah? Right. So what has been your experience so far, being a youth in this church? What has been the challenges and so on? 
Well, Love of God is a wonderful church. Love of God is a church that is very concerned about the youth because the youth makes over 70% of it, I mean, our congregation. So uh, I have been a youth president for over four years before I hand over to the present uh, youth president, and it has been wonderful. You know, the Bible said the path of the just is like a shining light that shines more and more onto the perfect day. So what we've been experiencing here is more, and God has been helping us so much. So being a youth of love of God is not challenging because God has been helping us. All right, and then uh, a concert like this is something we do every year, at, I mean, every August. And today is one of such day. We, we target a very special day for the youth because uh, this is the time when we we'll come together to worship God. I will bring in a special guest from outside. Today we're expecting the VG and we keep going. So, love of God is an amazing place to be. Uh, just like the name implies love, that's what we we'll share here. All right, so you said you've been the president for the past four years before the current president came in. So can you tell me, um, that's, I'm so sure you're part of the organizers. So can you tell me what did it cost you? Like, was it stressing? Was it fun? And so? Uh, well, organizing any event, even that day, is very stressful. All right, sir. I would like to ask you, what are our expectations from tonight? Well, we're expecting a lot. Uh, we're here to praise God. So we are expecting that His glory will come down because when praise goes up, blessings comes down. Today is for praise and worship to God Almighty. So my expectation is just to be blessed in the worship process and in all that we have come to do. That's all. All right. Thank you very much, sir. It's nice having you. Thank you. So that was Mr. Lawrence Ogbe on the red carpet. Thank you very much. Peace And I have one of my guest ministers, Pastor Solomon. Come in, sir. Good evening, sir. So I'm very short, though. <laughs> and I really admire your height. You look good, sir. It's nice having you. All right, so, sir, I'm going to be asking you, um, what are we expecting from you tonight? I will trust God for an outpouring of His power and His presence. I'm so excited about the task of the meeting, Youth on Fire. So trust God for fresh power and fresh fire, and our life will never remain the same. I'm so excited to be part of this meeting. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I've, I've been under the atmosphere where you've ministered several times, and seriously, I must confess, it, was, it has been amazing. So I'd like to ask you, what energy do you put in to get to that atmosphere? Because it's really something to admire. So what energy did you put in to get to that atmosphere? Uh, for me, I don't think... Um I, I would not want to use another word like, okay, I'm doing it by my strength or my capacity, but I think it's God. It's all the grace of God and the mercy of God. It's by the mercy of God, truly. The God is by the, the help of God. So I trust God for another face, another glory tonight. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. It's an honor having you. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. So that's one of the tallest pastors I've seen, Pastor Solomon. All right, people of God, we have our own David G right here, live and love of God for the World Fleming Ministry. We couldn't keep calm. We were just waiting to see this awesome man. All right, so we are so pleased to have you right here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so um, what has been your struggle as a gospel singer? Oh, oh the greatest struggle is uh, having more time to wait on God. Yeah, because we are in the world that is filled of. Uh, full of distractions. So we need more time to wait. If we can have more time to wait, more impacts. All right, sir. There are so many upcoming singers that are looking up to you. What is that advice you want to give to them? Keep waiting on God. Keep trusting God. It's only God that can lift you. Nobody can announce you. Only God. Um, I must say that you look fantastic. Is it that um, whenever you want to come out, you just go straight to your closet or you have a particular designer? <laughs> I mean, what are you wearing? My wife is actually my designer. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. Right, so it's so good to have you right here. Thank you. We are so pleased. We are so blessed. Like, we couldn't keep calm. Thank All right, so um, I want to ask you a brief question. Like, how did you start your career? Well, I started my career from school. And uh, it was not easy. Sorry, your secondary school, primary school? Oh. We actually started when we were about leaving secondary school. When we were about leaving secondary school. But we continued it and then until we got to where we are today. 
Um, I know some people, some gospel singers want to, okay, they'll always say, um, we started with secular music and then we entered gospel music. So, um, for you, have you always started, have you always been gospel music? Well, I started with gospel music, but my dad had a bar, a club, so they, were, they played gospel, the secular music there, but when it was time, the encounter I had with God led me into music ministry. Yes.